Right, we're going to try the tiny Keishin blade by Noiki in the 9 gram on the bass. Just been throwing the, the deep cranks by Hyder. Now we're going to try to see how our like, chatterbaits go. These things we're finding, they get down, we're fishing, I mean we're fishing 17 foot at the moment, but we're fishing 30, 35 foot and it gets down and quite quickly. No problem at all. I think just the size of it makes them sink quite quickly. Alright, just checking we've got bottom, so all we're doing is looking for the slack in the line. Make sure we've hit bottom. It's just still going a little bit down. Now we're on the bottom. Okay, and all I do is start in a little slow wind. It doesn't take much to get these things to start working. They work pretty much straight away. You don't need to twirl them up quickly at all. We're just slow winding them 15 turns, 10, 15 turns, depending on where the bass are. If they're on the bottom like they are here, you know, we just give them 10, 15 turns and then let them go back to the bottom and you'll see they get to the bottom almost instantly. They seem to really track nicely along the bottom. It's just the bass seem to like getting them that they come off the bottom. Oh, there's a hit. There's a good hit just as I brought it off the bottom, so I'm going to let it go back down to the bottom. They like it just as it comes off the bottom. The hit on it is unreal. It's just like this. Oh, that was my fault I missed that fish. Kind of pulled it away from it. Rookie error. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good hit. Put it back to the bottom. Let it come through them again. Now, oh, man. Just nipping the tail at the moment. And I'm being stupid and pulling it away from it. Try again. Off the bottom. Okay, I'll bug it up then. Shouldn't have pulled that away from that. Um, as you can see, we put a noiki plastic on it as well, just to give it that little bit of tice. Maybe they're just nipping at that. We put a stinger hook, hook on it sometimes, a size four on it, and that seems to get those little nipping fish. But these fish are big fish. We shouldn't need it with these guys. I just need a fish properly. Guys, just gonna let it get to the bottom. Yeah, I think we're on the bottom now. Just wind it up off the bottom. Just like you fish a plastic. You can even give them little twitches, give them a little bit of action. Might entice that hit. 10, 15 turns. Let it go back to the bottom. turns All right, hit the bottom again okay. so I think we'll straight away <laughs> that's what you want At the moment, they seem to be wanting to pick it up just as you get it off the bottom. Good fish. <laughs> he is going home. Woo. Real good fish. All right, we've stopped him, and he's thumping like a big fish. This is what these Wyvano bass do. We just love them. They just Put their heads down and one. still going.
going. <laughs> Another good run. Pressure on, don't ever give them slack. Should do another run now when he sees the boat. But just, take, just take it easy on them when you get them near the boat. He's about to go, just saw a bit of light then. There you go. Another cracking bass. Awesome. The Noiki Kation Tiny Kation Blade. Great little laws. Come in a 9 gram and a 7 gram. 7 gram would probably be working just as well at the moment. Probably even working even better. Yeah, definitely check your local tackle stores and ask for them, man. Yeah. I think they're going to be a must-have in your tackle box. Cool.